Uh, greetings. Um, I think my camera is in focus. I sure hope so because I'm about to record a little bit of a message to you all. Um, my name is Michael Bittner. Uh, some call me Michael Bai and that was a name that uh, I received in India which means Michael brother and I would really like to extend myself um, out to the world as that because I um, very much identify with humanity as a whole and I feel like that has uh, given me the opportunity to speak about a project I've been working on over the past week uh, called Occupied Thanksgiving, a moral musing from a young Cascadian farmer and um, it's a photo story on Photo Bucket currently. It's a, a photo story with a little bit of poetry and um, words to go along, maybe inspiring, maybe impelling, maybe, um, uh, you know, something that, that reinvigorates the collective imagination for what is possible on this planet, um, ec ecologically, economically, and spiritually. Um, and this project is, uh, is in a contest, and of all things to be promoting. Um, I'm not one for contests, I'm more about cooperation than competition, um, but I see an opportunity in this project to uh, make amazing gains uh, in the sense that if I were to win the $25,000 with your support, uh, and that support is very humbly, I'm going to say this, is going to come from you going to my photo bucket story page and um, liking, you know, pressing the little heart icon um, on the story page or commenting the photos or just sharing the link. Um, as sappy and corny as that is, that's uh, where we're at right now as far as trying to succeed and, and move our community forward. Um, but I wanted to, I want to record this to make a promise that if you help me um, win this competition, um, I'm going to use the money in a very sacred way. Uh, and I'm not one to, I'm not one for money. Um, I've never sold my work, uh, you know, in a way that I've, I've, I've felt happy about it. I've never grown food or made photos or done anything in my life for money. I, I do it because I see beauty and I love people uh, enough to provide for them and I want to continue feeding people so that I can continue expressing beauty to them and they can express their beauty to me and we can enjoy a, a beautiful world together and I feel like that's what it's all about. Um, and money just seems to taint that process and I've always felt that way. I'm a bit of a migrant worker, migrant farmer, and I've been making you know, two, three, four hundred dollars a month working on farms, you know, 50, 60 hours a week. And um, it's tough, and I'm not in it for the money. I, I do it because the livelihood is, is wonderful and, and full of love and compassion and support. And um, I, I get to connect with um, God, uh, nature, all about us to the full extent every day, and that's what's important to me. So when I enter this contest, it's, it's not about becoming wealthy. Um, the $19,000 uh, of that 25000 if I were to win, will go to forgive uh, my own student debt that I have. Uh, I'm very wary of making payments on it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going to be able to start my own project or my own farm or even cooperatively share that opportunity with anybody until I'm able to um, become free and be able to invest in my dreams and, and you the people and, and, and what I love. And until that's met, um, I'm afraid I'm going to be traveling for a very long time from farm to farm to farm. Um, so with the rema remaining, remaining 6,000, um, 1,000 would theoretically go to support um, a potential CSA, community supported agriculture farm startup next year. 
um, that I hope to endeavor with with a, a really wonderful friend, uh, Max Smith. Uh, and then the remaining 5,000 I will very graciously and humbly and um, with a lot of happiness donate to the Strike Debt Rolling Jubilee campaign, which is buying up debt for pennies on the dollar and then forgiving it so that people can become free from their medical debt and their student debt and f further debts of which they shouldn't have in the first place because <laughs> because hell, you know, uh, because if we're going to be here on this planet to take care of one another, education is something we should be happy to give one another and healthcare is something we should be happy to provide for one another. We should be able, we should be here to take care of one another. And it just, it's a testament to me of how sick society has become. And, uh, and I think I realized this when I was in Portland this past few months, um, living very modestly and working on a farm outside of town, and being very active in the anti-austerity movement. Um, and something in my heart tells me that austerity is going to progress and we're never going to know things uh, the same. Things are changing. and. I open, I'm open to it and I want to welcome my peers and my friends, uh, my generation uh, to a new path, to a path that um, even if education is cut, if healthcare is cut, if, you know, if all these things that we've, we've built a civil society on are, are cut so that Wall Street bankers and corporations can continue robbing the poor and working class. Um, I'd like to invite you out to the land. I'd invite you to come farm with me. I invite you to build um, the other world that's possible. Um, education doesn't need to happen in a classroom. We're surrounded by um, a richness of education in all directions here. Um, the grass, the trees, the ducks, the fish, the mountains, the clouds, the sun. These are our greatest teachers. Uh, and we can learn a lot about who we are uh, from these forces, from these things that give us life. Healthcare comes from the land. We don't need people sticking needles in us. We don't need white painted rooms and electronic machines hooked up to our arteries and brain system, you know, nervous system. We don't need this. Our, our health comes from the land, the food we eat, food we grow, the intentions we put into that. If bus routes get cut, come out to the land, ride a horse. I think this is um, the community I've always I've always romanticized and I feel like maybe we're coming back to it and some of us are choosing to and some of us might have to. Um, but I'm here on the land already and I have been and I open you with, uh, I welcome you with open arms and I want to um, build an alternative model. And uh, I think that's what this project is all about, is inspiring a generation to to follow their hearts and to endeavor on a new journey, a journey that, um, that is felt here um, and, and that is felt with love and faith and trust that those around us are going to take care of us and that we're going to take care of them with all honesty um, and transparency before us. And so I, I invite you to, uh, to view my page. I invite you to help me um, become free. Uh, I help, and I invite you to help me to become free, to free others. 